Okay, we are live. We're live? We're live. With that shot? <laughs> I know for anyone that watches this from the beginning, I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> Running a little behind tonight. So, <clears throat> yeah, we, I, I definitely apologize for that one. <laughs> so, all right, let me get over here. So... Welcome to Control Chaos Live. This is our 10th episode. Number 10. Yep. Dang. We can't do any more episodes after tonight. I'm sorry, but... We ran out of show material. We, well, it's not really that. It's just I don't think either one of us can count past 10. Oh, that's right. I didn't even think about that. Well, we'll, we'll both take... Get up to... I don't know how many you have, but all I right. got all 10 of mine. Right. Absolutely. Let me um, check one thing really quick. One moment. We're trying to get all the camera angles and you know the zoom in. I'm actually watching this right here. So most everyone there. can see. Okay. So. All right. So what I'll be doing? I'll be watching this, talking to you guys on chat while Frank does all the talking. Well, and I, I sit here and enjoy my. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I, Tonight, the tenth episode, I should get the night off, right? No, that was the night I was going to be up. Oh, really? So, I guess we're just going to sit here and stare at Facebook all night, I guess, huh? And just sit here and do nothing. Pretty much. Um, so, so yeah. That being the case, um, I'll just hang up. Yeah, we're just sit here and piddle or twiddle our thumbs, stuff like that. Hey, hey did you see this post that I put? No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, if you notice, we're we're in the location where, uh, it, if you saw the broadcast that we did on the Casper Paranormal Facebook page the other day, uh, this will look familiar to you. We are in the same location, and for a very good reason. Um, we, you know, this this is the place that we typically broadcast from. We have investigated here many times. Um, Sometimes it's been dead quiet. Sometimes it's been a little more active. Um, had some interesting things occur here. Um, last last Sunday, when we did our live broadcast from here, um, apparently we had a little bit of activity that um, that's right. We we didn't realize what was going on. Um, you know, so, generally during our live shows, we generally don't know what's going on around us. We're trying to talk mm -hmm. to everyone here, inform everyone, you know, have a good show for everyone to, to join us with. So we we generally don't go back and re-watch our shows after we've done Facebook Live. Right. Sometimes we will when when we actually, you know, have a, a personal experience or mm -hmm. something in, the, in here moves unexpectedly or stuff like that, then we'll go back and review. But this time... We did, because we actually were actually editing some footage to put together for something else, and we just so happened to capture two EVPs sitting right here. So it was pretty compelling stuff, and actually got my name mm -hmm. for the first time ever in this spot. I've never recorded my name. I've had other investigators, their names have been said, but to that last week was my name. Uh, the interesting part of that mm -hmm. was the EVP of a woman saying my name mm -hmm. sounded just like my wife. And Frank and I got to talking about that tonight, and we'll talk a little bit more about this a little later and see what everyone else thinks. So, yeah, that, um, it, it, it was kind of interesting. Um, you, you know, we, but we had a lot of things, and... If you have ever heard me do a radio interview, um, hopefully, it, hopefully everyone got to um, hear my interview where um, I talked with Kat Hobson last night on Paranormal Experience. Um, she she had me on the show, and we were actually talking about what um, what had happened here. Um, you know. We are the catalyst in haunting situations. The um, we a lot of times we don't realize how much of an effect we have on our environment, especially in a haunted environment. 
And um, we've had things where EVPs would come from, it, it would be the sound of a living person. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've heard my own voice come over a ghost box before. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. We you know, had strange things like that. And it, uh, it everything looks back. And, and you have to remember, you're not, the, the paranormal is not just looking for ghosts, looking for home places, things like that. It is the entirety of human consciousness. Mm -hmm. More so in the living than people who have passed on. Right. Um, yeah, we also compared this to the, the stone tape there. You know, mm -hmm. the, we're in a basement, and these block walls, they absorb all kind of energy, mm -hmm. you know, moisture. They, they absorb everything. And if you know about the stone tape theory, what it does at certain times of, in, in, in its lifetime, in its cycle, it will release that energy. It could capture, you know, we've been here a bunch of times, Frank and I, uh, my wife has been here a bunch of times, so... These walls could have actually absorbed her saying this two years ago, and everything fit perfectly last week, and it just released that, and we captured it on video. Could that be one of the possibilities? Very well. That why it, the reason why it sounded exactly like my wife. It was it was really creepy how close it sounded to her. Well, and and something else to factor in. Last Sunday, um, it, if you watched the the broadcast. You know, we were talking about how cold it was. Mm -hmm. it, it was actually unseasonably cold for a winter in Alabama. And um, cold air, it, it's so much more dense. The electrons are pushed so much closer together. produces a lot more static electricity. Right. Absolutely. Um, it definitely has a lot of effects on a lot of things. And we think that's one of the reasons why we see more activity during the winter times than we do the summertime, you know. Summertime in Alabama is terrible, so even spirits don't want to come out. So. <laughs> right, right. That, no, the only place that you're going to find them in, in the summertime in Alabama is in front of the air conditioner. Air conditioner, yeah. Sip, sipping sweet tea. <laughs> I don't know about the sweet tea part, Frank. Right. I think you added that on. Yeah, well, but, it's written down somewhere. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, You saw that on Facebook, didn't you? Um, I, I could not come. Yeah. I, I'll do my own Bill Clinton. I could not right. comment yeah, on hey, those we're in a dark basement. We're in a that, dark basement. Yeah. <laughs> You're not doing a Bill Clinton impersonation. I'm sorry. <laughs> not with me sitting here. Yeah. Help me, please. <laughs> so so what, what we're going to do tonight is, is we're going to kind of show some of the different equipment that's out there. Um, one thing we, we want to test, and th this is something that we've been asked about a few times over the years, um, which is better, a ghost box or a novelist? Well, let's try it. Hey, we got both. And we're, we're going to throw a little interesting twist on it, and I'm not sure why, but there's... That light keeps right, we, we actually, flickering on us. We, we have a light over here that has a mind of its Which own. Which I'm pretty so sure it shed more light on you over there. I can see right here. So we lost like six people viewers when that light came on. Right? <laughs> Coincidence? I don't know, but right. Right. <laughs> I think we got right. a battery trying to go out one right. of our lights. We may have to get up here and uh, adjust that here in just a few minutes. But uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I interrupted you, Frank. See what I have to deal with. Um, <laughs> so, but yeah, well, the reason why we wanted to do this again um, last week, we showed you some ITC apps. Uh, you know, Ghost Radar. Uh, the portal, you know, the things that, that, that people like to use on there for fun. A lot of them, they even say on a lot of them that they're for entertainment only. What we wanted to do tonight, since we captured some evidence last week, was kind of set the scenario like we did last week during our live broadcast. But this time, instead of using ghost radars, EMF detectors, we wanted to use word processing apps. As you see on TV, the ovuluses, mm -hmm. the... Um, the spirit boxes and see if that would generate the same kind of activity tonight or will we mm -hmm. fail miserably and everybody will just laugh at us after, at the end of the show. So, <laughs> so I, and picking out an app, you, you know, a lot of times 
we'll pick out, you know, whatever app someone sends to us and, you know, they'll say, hey, is this app good? Is it, is it a legitimate app? And um, many times I will, um, you know, I'll download it, you know, we'll play around with it and see what happens. But um, what, uh, what we did this time, since we were actually going to test it, was we looked on the App Store and found the app with the highest rating with the most downloads. Um, and, and this is one, I've personally never used this one. So this will be, you know, and- This and it, will be a, a new trip for everyone. Right? Yeah. Generally, we don't use a lot. We don't use apps on, on our investigations. We try to steer away from them. Now we might break out one every now and then when it's dull and boring and just piddle with it and see what it's about. Uh, there is one app that that we're going to show tonight that that we do use on a, on a regular basis on our on our investigation because it actually has produced some decent some decent responses. So what we got here, Frank? What's this one called? So this one is the um, this is called Ghost Hunting Tools. And it had over 500,000 downloads with the 4.0 rating. So, you know, that basically tells me there's been a lot of people using it. Now, as far as the validity of it and all of that, I, well, I think we all know by now how I feel about apps. <laughs> right. But we're going to run an experiment and see. Okay, this big We're going to try a couple, a couple. A new experiments we're going to try tonight that kind of steps us out of the box of the regular paranormal investigations that you generally see that everyone's doing. You know, you don't want to stop doing the investigations the way we're doing because we do collect data that way through those. But we also have to take steps outside the box in order to advance the field. And that's where we're trying to go with this. Trying to introduce a little more science to the paranormal than just your K2s, your mail meters, your your typical every every episode of Ghost Adventures you see, they're doing the same thing. We're going to try to take it a little step further, take it outside the box, see if uh, see if our bodies, ourself, our mind itself, affects the paranormal somewhat. And we're going to try a little experiment tonight, a little bit later on, that I think most of y'all will find interesting. Been on two minutes and this thing's already getting on my nerves. No, <laughs> it's bad. Boy, it? it didn't take long. For Frank to get tired of this app, is it warming up or something? Is it? Uh, I'm not five, sure what it's doing. 500,000 downloads, I'm sure that must have been a bunch of frustration going on that day. So, apparently, okay, now, um, let's see. While Frank is trying to get that to warm up, I want to say hello to everyone in the chat room. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. We got Laura. Laura is joining us tonight. Oh, Hello, Laura. Uh, Jennifer. Jennifer is joining us. We've got Chris Bowen. Hey, Chris. Hey, thanks for watching. Sam. Hey, always Sam. Hey, okay. some regular ones starting to come on in here. Hello, everyone. So I'm sure Sarah will be joining us pretty soon, too. She's mm -hmm. knowing when Sam comes on. Sarah's not far behind. We always enjoy y'all coming on the show with us. Okay, so All right. what we're doing is the the other app, it was just beeping and making all kinds of noise and it was getting on my nerves. So we're going to try this one next time. <laughs> this is um, the VBE Ghost Box that's supposed to have speech sensors. Speech sensors? Mm -hmm. Huh. So, if it's anything like Siri, I'm going to have to talk with a British accent for it to understand me. So, let's see. <laughs> Sam said Sarah will be here momentarily. I'm, I don't want to put everyone's business out there. But <laughs> okay. Then, um... Is it our service that's messing with us tonight? Um, no, it's um, me trying to figure out how to work these apps. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. So when you first put them up and they're that annoying and aggravating to try to deal with, you right, kind of probably don't want to use this thing. 
But just let's set the scenario up. We have our mail meter behind us. We're going to start asking a few questions here. After a while, once we find an app that will actually work, that, that they say it's supposed to work. We got our mail meter, we got the spirit box here, we got our external speakers, we got an EMF pump, uh, we got a piece of paper and a pencil for our experiment later. That's all it takes on this one, an easy experiment that everyone can try. Mm -hmm. So, what we got going on here? Okay, this is supposed to be putting some um, words out there, but I think this one is. Um, I'm not sure if it's trying to pick up something, uh, if you have to have this on. Let me see. So we can let it run a minute and see what it does. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to see if a word will generate or, or a word will come out of it. And again, these are just apps, so. Yep. So most of the time the words that come out of this thing is not gonna apply to Anything you're investigating? Um, yeah, I mean, they, these are well known for random nonsense. <laughs> so it's, even with, the, even with the PSB7 spirit box, we don't always, when we, when we take the, the evidence back to the client, we don't always say this is actual evidence from the spirit box because we don't actually know that it is 100% sure a spirit speaking through, through our box. But we can use it as a baseline. We can use it to ask a few more questions that we didn't know about earlier. Uh, uh, so take, for example, uh, a week and a half ago we were doing a, a show here. And we got a name we've never gotten before on it. So that led us to do a little more research. We haven't found anything on the name yet, but it actually makes you, makes you actually do a better investigation trying to find any relevance to the to the to the to the sounds, to the uh, response coming from the spirit box. So, okay, so this one isn't doing anything yet, at the moment, but we're, we're just trying this out. Um, it looks like it's running its cycle, so mm -hmm. maybe here in just a, just a minute or two, it might generate a word, and, and we're going to compare these apps to the spirit box. Maybe I should go and turn the spirit box yeah, on. Yeah, I'll what. tell you what. We'll turn it on, and we'll see. That way, we'll give us something to kind of listen to while we're doing it. Hypergear Bluetooth device is ready to pair. See, that's what I have. That's what I sound like when I have to talk to Siri. Right. You know, it, it never can understand me. I have to put a, a strong British accent on in order for it to understand. Me. Yeah, that that is one thing um, about it is you know, uh, Google Assistant, Siri, uh, Bixby. If you're on okay. Samsung, Alexa, you know, they they don't really understand the Southern accent that well. <laughs> The slang, I think a lot of the slang we throw in there they, doesn't help. That, they need a translator. <laughs> All right, I'm, well, I'm going to do I'm gonna turn. I got the, I got the PSB7 spirit box on. You've seen this on our shows a few times. We like to pull this out to compare to several different pieces of equipment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on and turn this on. I'm going to let it be scanning through, see if we can pick <coughs> up any pareidolia or any radio feedback or any responses for that matter. You know, one thing that happened, um, and we're, we're going to post a video of this over the weekend. Uh, we'll post it to the Casper Paranormal page. But something that happened while we were here um, on um, Sunday was his um, PSB7 turned on by itself. Uh, we, we weren't even in this area. He, he had it sitting on the shelf, and there are a couple of times you, it powers on, you hear it run, and then powers off. And, 
and, it, and this and, all about and my spare time. box is is six years old. I've had this for a long time, and you've got to actually apply pressure to this power button to get it to come on. But during the video, I'm standing right here in front of the camera, right after the EVP we get that says my name, and, and I actually hear something. I don't know what it is because without the external speaker, this is real low. You have a volume on it, but it's still not very loud, so you really can't tell what what's going on without the external speaker. I have both of them real low right now because I'm just letting it warm up, letting it run through to see about which areas, as you can see, we're scanning a station a second. Every quarter of a second, it's changing. So I can, I'm going to sit here and watch these numbers, and if it gets around 104, 103, you know, your major radio stations, sometimes you will pick up the radio stations that, that, that are real popular around here, powerful radio stations. So, right now, we haven't picked up anything. And the other night, we were doing one with the PSB7, and we were doing a loud session. And not a peep, not, not one single response, not a, a, a burp or nothing from this thing. The minute we do a silent EBR uh, spirit box session, Within a couple minutes, we were getting a female voice coming through with, with some responses to our questions. And me and Frank got to talking about that as well. Could it be the noise that actually deters some of the spirits from using this piece of equipment to communicate through us? So that's why we like to try different techniques, different ways of doing things in order to try to gather more data and get better responses. But right now, there's nothing coming through this. It's been quiet, mm -hmm. which is great, because a lot of times when you're when you're in an investigation at some residence or uh, downtown, you know, you have the powerful radio towers around, and you're going to pick up a lot of radio, and you can't. And I've been on a couple of investigations where we couldn't even use it because there was so much interference that you're not going to get very good data. ERS loaded. That startled the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah. He's got a speaker sitting in the back behind us back oh, here yeah. that's yeah, synchronized it's, it's to that actually... phone. And it said something, and I thought, <laughs> man. So what I'm going to do is get started. Forward. Started scanning. that we could ask. It gives you a little bit of the data. If, if You could actually take some of the responses off of this and actually apply it to the things that's happening in that, in that, in that area. And, and, and for the record, I'm not trying to make fun. I mean, I, you know, I love to make fun of these apps and point out how kooky and crazy most of them are. And I promise I'm not trying to do that tonight. I'm trying to actually seriously test some of them. And, but some of these, I mean... Started scanning. You can pick for in now. Oh, what are you going to do with that? Now, can't you hear what happened? I know. Scanning stopped. Uh, radio uh, stage. He's, uh, he's joined us tonight. Hey, Scott. Oh, awesome. Thanks for joining us. So, I mean, yeah, that's, um, yeah, that that's going to be enough. <laughs> 
Um, you, you know, that this is what happens when I try to be nice. <laughs> Uh, well, at least we get a few things that's trying to work here. We can also, uh, we can do a quiet spirit box session, see what we can do. Uh, we can compare it to the echo box if that's not. Let's see. Uh, um, I'm going to go with this program here. Um. same time to see if we get a response out of this if it's the same from these as well. So so we got a word on here so the Ellie. Ellie. So the first word we get is a name. Ellie. Never gotten never heard that name before. Never gotten right. that from this area. Right, we we actually have a list of the different names and things like that that we have got what we here. And um, we're hoping to be able to compare some of those. So, um, let's see. I'll, I'll tell you what, let's do an experiment. All right, uh, I got. We got alone. Okay. Ellie alone. No, not making very much sense. I'm going to ask a couple questions through this real quick, see if we get anything out of it. This has been quiet. Right. Quiet as it can be. Anyone would like to speak with us tonight? got this turned down. I'll turn it up just a little bit. I don't know what it sounds like coming through Facebook Live. So we'll turn this up. Uh, let's see. Anna, would you like to speak with us again tonight? We okay, heard you. so we just got mean. Mean. Do we have any mean spirits here tonight? <laughs> Other than Frank. Other than Frank, yes. If you're here with us, would you give us a sign that you're here? Would you speak through this piece of equipment? Would you come touch the mail meter back here, this green light? Would you be willing to touch that for us? We heard you last week communicate with us. We appreciate that. Will you do it again tonight? Paranormals joined us. Awesome. Great group of people there. Uh, they say the spirit box, they sold theirs because all it did was make investigators say, what did it say? Right. Which, that is true. Yep. Okay, so we got the word check. Check. I guess maybe tomorrow's payday. Tomorrow sure. is payday. Okay. So, hey. So this right now is just throwing up random words. Uh, right. The questions we're asking, does it pertain to any responses we're giving? Um, again, <coughs> this is an app. Compared to this, you can have, as you've heard, this hasn't made a sound. So, still very clear. And now uh, this is the app that, um, that I was mentioning. Um, I'm going to stop has, this real quick. This, this is the app that I was mentioning has uh, 50,000 or 500,000 downloads. So, you know, if that many people have downloaded the app and rated it that high, then obviously there are a lot of people using it. 
Now that doesn't mean that it's a legitimate app because that, uh, which one is it? Ghost Radar, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, if, I, if I remember correctly, it has several million downloads. And that is the most fake app there is. <laughs> it really is useless. Um, that, so. Jennifer Bates just joined us. Hi, Jennifer Bates. Thanks for joining us again. Right. Glad to see you made the show. So we're, I'll tell you what, let's do this. All right. You, you know, just a few minutes ago, we were talking about human consciousness. Mm -hmm. We're talking about getting EVPs of living people. Right. Um. Like, like, you know, we talked about, you know, right. how that EVP we captured the sounded other day. Just sounded like, just like, sounded just like my wife. Yeah. My um, then, um, you know, I was talking about the time that I heard my name come through a ghost box. Mm -hmm. We'll do an experiment. And so we're, we're not going to do an experiment with ghosts. We're going to do an experiment with the living. Um, so, Donald, how do you feel about being a guinea pig? You've asked me that several times, and I thought, well, be nice and agree to it. No, I don't want to be a guinea pig tonight. Oh, yeah, you do. The look, the look on your face says, I, you, hey, you. hey, at least this time there's not, <laughs> at least this time there's no blindfold, there's no headphones where I don't so have you'll, be able to, to, you'll be able to hear everything that, that's going on, so so I can't pull any. Can't pull any, you're uh -huh. Crud that all way. I'm not gonna be in a pink bunny suit at the end of the night or okay. All right, I'll, I'll agree to it this time. Right. Okay, we got the word gate that so apparently we're supposed to check the gate that's been along with Ellie. Mm -hmm. That's so far that's what we've got. So, so Ellie, if you're watching, go <laughs> check the gate. <laughs> yeah, the gate. There's something at the gate. Yeah, yes, I'll be a guinea pig. What, uh, what would okay. you like to do? Well, let's try something. All right, so what we're gonna do. All right, I, I was telling you how um, earlier I had heard my voice come through a um, ghost box one time. Right. I have heard, um, you know, the EVP sound like a living person. So obviously, living people can have an effect on paranormal equipment. Ghost boxes, cameras even. I, I have seen people that you couldn't take a millimeter or a tri-field meter near them. Right. Or they would set it off. Um, so, let's do something. Right. I'm going to bring out my notebook here. This is the best piece of paranormal gear that you can buy. So, this is the model you typically retails for. Around, All this equipment we've been uh, showing for uh, 10 episodes, and that's the best piece of equipment we can buy? Right. Okay, and this says Lost. Okay, so something's lost. <laughs> so that thing there is just a... Uh... Right, that, that's weird that it doesn't have the... Well, I don't know, it may have a voice that says it, but I can't listen to the... <laughs> yeah, that's, that was getting you know, a little bit yeah. on the, the activating um, side. So the experiment, let's see what we're going to do um, here. All right, so what we will do is... Um, I'm going to use my notebook. Like I say, this this is the single most important piece of paranormal equipment you can own. Typically retails for $1.95 plus 75 to 99 cents. Or just steal pounds. someone else's pen. That's what I did. Right. So this was probably stolen, actually. <laughs> uh, um, so what I'm going to do, I actually am going to write down a word but to get past some of my <laughs> some, some of my sketches and drawing and <laughs> schematics for, for different things. Lord, um, what was that drawing of? Right, well, no, no, don't flip back. I, 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 I just saw a glimpse and I didn't want to see it all at the time. <laughs> this <laughs> is, well, um, this is the flux capacitor. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. All right, all right. The one, one, two, one, one. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to write down a word uh, on a piece of paper here. And Donald is going to concentrate as hard as he can. I mean, he's going to have that gerbil on the wheel going full speed. 
wheel squeaking, smoke coming from the bearing and everything. That I, 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 was, I greased my gears up there and my bearings up good so, before the show tonight. So, so no smoke tonight. So good deal. He got some WD-40. Um, so Donald is going to concentrate as hard as he can on this word that I write down. And we're going to see if that word shows up here or on the spirit box or on the PSB set. So we're going to basically see if Donald is able to project, project my thoughts it. through certain radio waves or sensors that are detected on some of these equipment here. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Now, now the with, with the PSB-7, for it to actually come through and be intercepted with a... Um, through, through an RF signal or a radio wave. Now, now that is pretty significant. Um, I mean, no, granted, I have seen it happen. I've had it happen to me. But it is pretty significant and, and rare. Um, does, not often. Um, but if these apps actually can translate words in, in the way that they claim that they can, then... Um, we should get something through here. So, because you know, or at least through the spirit box, right. we should actually, if if mm -hmm. if I can actually project the thought, the word you're going to give me to sit there and think about. There goes that light again. Yeah. Hello, everybody can see us a little right. better now. <laughs> Shed a little light on the subject. Right. But anyway, so if I could actually project my thought mm -hmm. through this right here, this might actually prove that uh, your mind can can actually. I guess, what's the word I'm looking for, actually, I guess, project mm -hmm. a paranormal experience mm -hmm. in your mind. Mm -hmm. Huh. Oh. All right. So, so, yeah, we're stepping way out of the box tonight, then. <laughs> so, so, you know, because the, you, you know, people talk about the, well, we got team. <laughs> team. Okay. Yep. yep. So, team popped up there. We are a team. Right. Telling us that we got to we got to check the gate because something was lost by the team. Um, by Ellie. El Ellie lost it. Right. Yeah. Ellie oh, lost yeah. it. Gotcha. At least we got somebody blaming on. Right. All right. So give me a word. Okay. I'm going to write down a word here. Get this auxiliary mode. All right. So. I'm going to have the spirit box on. It's on. Birth just popped up there. <laughs> okay. So. Auxiliary mode. So here is your word. Okay. Let's see. All right. Now, do I have to sit here and stare at the word the whole time? No. Or do I just need no. to think it? Real hard. Just, just think it really hard, and while you're doing How that, hard is really hard? Till it hurts. Till it hurts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which might not be that hard. It may not be. <laughs> it may be. Right. Hypergear Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Auxiliary mm -hmm. mode. All right. Okay, just to make things a little easier. I will do this. Do this. Okay. And so I will put that there. And we just had this thing on. Okay, we got travel. Hyper gear, Bluetooth. Okay, so we'll put this here. Yes. He broke it. I didn't break it. Not yet. But this thing was just... Auxiliary mode. Alright, let's see here. I think I may have it now. <laughs> Maybe not. 
tonight just seems like the gremlins are getting us big time, aren't they? All our stuff's not wanting to work. Let's see if I can't get this thing going again. You know, when you test all this stuff before the show, everything Hi, works. Device is ready to <laughs> now, when you, we just ran this thing not two minutes ago. Yep. And actually, what I'll do oh, is I will put the camera down just a little so that everyone can see our chair there. There we go. Alright, I'm going to set this down on the chair, mm -hmm. as well. Alright, now we're back cooking with bacon again. We've got some, we got the spirit box going, we've got the uh, app that we're going. Mm -hmm. Word processing app. The experiment we're going to try, Frank wants me to, he wrote down a word, and he wants me to just think it, to see if our consciousness, if our, if our brain is actually... Sending out signals that that can come through our spirit box. So Frank's back there adjusting cameras, shaking everything, and uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I think the show. <laughs> I think the show just got better when he walked off. So filming in California. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, we just got another one because from the other app, the the app that was downloaded. 500,000 times. Right. So, all right. I'm just, I'm just going to sit here and be quiet. All right. And I'm just going to think of the word that you gave me. All right. So, so you tell me that. You want to put your phone here? Yeah. I'll, I'll see right. this. And everything right there. And I'm just going to sit here and just think about it. Starting now. Should I use the force? Use the force. Okay. It's quiet. It's pretty quiet still. Now I'm just sitting here over and over in my mind, just sitting here going this this word that he gave me, I'm just repeating it over and over in my mind. I don't know how to project, so I'm not that advanced yet. I think two more years with the team, I get my advanced belt and I should be able to project. <laughs> That's not true, I'm just making stuff up. So nothing yet. We're still pretty quiet on both the spirit box and the app. So now, and, and when we try these little experiments, you shouldn't be afraid to not. You shouldn't be scared not to get a, a response. You know, you're just trying new things here. You're you're not actually doing this to. I mean, you'll be able to do this if it works. It'll be great. It's something great to uh, another try, a test to add to your experiment. So it may look boring and dull and everything, but if it works, we may be on to something. You never, it, it at least leads you down a different path. <laughs> All right, Laura says, so if the spirit box says the word, you don't think spirits can read? Because you got it wrote down right there. So Laura says the thing's looking over our shoulder, right. reading the word so it can say it through there is really not my mind. Right. That, that's true. That's a decent point. Yeah, maybe we should turn it over. Right. Now, that ain't going to work because they can read our minds. They know how we feel. They know... They so, feel I'm putting the word out there, so they already know the word. Oh, okay, ghost in here, y'all be quiet. Right. No talking.
Uh, Annie, you're nice to, uh, for y'all to join us. Tell Logan I said hello. Tell the other boys I said hello as well. Okay, so I think we'll So, go. yeah, this is, uh, we've got no response from the spirit boxes. It's been quiet all night mm -hmm. long. Not another word from the app that we were presenting to y'all earlier. So, it just said Europe. Europe, which was way off from the word that I was trying to put out. Europe, using, yellow, you're using the force. The word he had me doing was yellow. I figured it would be Roll Tide or Crimson or something uh -huh. terrible like that. So That's only because I was trying to play nice and didn't think about it. <laughs> Mostly because I didn't think about it. So, that's just one little experiment that you can try. Now, generally in an investigation, you don't want to try this experiment a lot longer than just two or three minutes. You want to give something time to work, or at least time to generate something. Not necessarily generate something, but give it enough, plenty of time to try it out. That way you can stop thinking about this experiment if you don't ever want to use it again, or try it at a different location. Just because it didn't work here tonight doesn't mean when we do an investigation in two weeks, that this same experiment might generate something. I'll tell you what, here's something we can do. Um, you want me to stop this? Yes. We, we've got just about 10 minutes left, so... I'm afraid to stop it because we couldn't get the darn thing to work a minute ago. <laughs> <clears throat> what we'll do is, instead of using the, um, the PSB-7, um, while we're talking about apps and everything, very popular app is Echo Vox. There, there are many, many people that use it. So we'll try it since it now this, works off the same. And explain uh, this. This is an app, but this mm -hmm. is actually designed by a paranormal investigator, wasn't it? This he, app was designed. Yeah, he's so this is an app, but it's actually got a little research behind it. Um, Frank found this. Frank's, Frank really likes to use this. I'm a little more on the skeptical side because, one, it is an app, but it at the same time, it has generated some pretty compelling responses through this. Yeah. So Frank's going to play this for you. It's called the Echo Box. Right. And now, it's starting now, to kind of grow on me now. Right. It's starting to really... Now keep in mind, ultimately, um, there is nothing that you could get on here, no matter how relevant, what, however it turns out, that could be presented as proof of the paranormal. But it is interesting to see what comes through. You know, if you get anything, it, any words, it puts phonetic, um, it, it's got phonetic sounds that it can put together. And, and there's, a, you know, a little theory behind it. But it, it's one of those that I wouldn't take seriously. I wouldn't present what I get on here as evidence, but it's fun to play with. Again, it gives you a baseline. It gives you something else to ask because... During an eight-hour investigation, you're going to be asking the same questions over and over again because you don't have a lot of data to go, go on when you go into these investigations. You've got to try to gather as you go along in order to progress the investigation. So we try these little experiments to, I guess, break the, <laughs> you know, break the, the dullness in it. You, know. you always need to try different things. You never know what you can get evidence from. Some kind of technique. Okay, so while while we're doing that, I'm going to what what we'll do is I will um, I'll try thinking of a word this time. Yep. So even Laura. Hey, Laura, said, watching with us again tonight. She said well, she's been talking with us tonight. She says she hated the Echo Box when they first started using it. Now is the only app I will ever use. If I do use one, mm -hmm. it has said her first and last name and lots of dead-on responses. So, yeah, it, it's starting to grow on me, too, as the more and more Frank uses it. When he first introduced it to me, I was like, Frank, this is an app. How many shows have we done against apps? How is it going to look if we sit here and say, don't use apps on your investigation, and then we come out the next live paradigm, you know, live show we do using an app? But this, this is, this is a little different because it has a little re more research. It's done. It was made, designed by a paranormal investigator. 
that does the same thing we do, and 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 it gives it a little bit a little bit more validity. So, did it just say your name? Probably. Sorry. I could have swore I heard it say Frank. You want to move that speaker down here? Maybe yeah. maybe everyone on Facebook can hear it. All right, well, I can actually turn it up a little bit. <laughs> Hi, Logan. Thanks for joining us, Logan, my nephew. Okay, so I'm going to think of a word while while Donald does it. So we tried it, didn't get a response when he did it. Okay. So to make it fair, we'll do. Well, Let I'll, me. I'll I want to give you a word. Oh, you're going to yes, give me a word? I want to give you the word. I, let scared, me I'm let the rabbit have the gun for a minute. I, I'm scared of this. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. This is <laughs> okay, see, so we got I, a I'm scared to see what this is. It just said Frank. Laura just confirmed what I heard. It just uh, said your name just a minute ago. I could have swore I heard Frank come through there. Well, hello. I thought I said Ghost Be Quiet. Well, no, you know no, how don't. they don't listen to you, Frank. All right, I'm going to give Frank a word. Huh. <laughs> how do you spell supercalifractiousnispotasbialidocious? How do you spell that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we you're, go. You're talking to somebody that graduated from huh? Pell City. I <laughs> yeah, I know. That's anything over a four-letter word you have trouble with. Right. But I'm really good with those four-letter words, though. You really are, yeah. Come on. I have to give you credit on that. Let's see, a good word. Um, right here. Wait. All right. There's your word, Frank. Okay. That will work. So, I will be thinking on this right. word. Okay, so... Prepare to be amazed as I use all of the power of my brain. This is going to be like a little firecracker go pop, and that's about it. Maybe the exhaust. I, I, I'll get my thinker pose going here. Oh, you're, you know, yeah, we got to have our serious paranormal pose, too. Okay. You know, you can't. <laughs> you're supposed to be thinking of a word here. I played right, along. Right. Now you got to think of my You're going to give this to ADD kids. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, man. So, Frank is thinking of the word. We have the echo box going. We also have the app that we were showing y'all earlier, another word processing app. And we're trying a little experiment for those of you just joining us. Frank is thinking of a word, and he's trying to project it to see if our mind can actually alter any of the frequencies that these are picking up, the radio waves that's coming through on the echo, or not on the echo box, but just the sensors on it itself. got air on the app which has no no similarities to the the word that I wrote down so the app failed on that word so far nothing on the echo box we're getting a few little reverbs I think but nothing yep. we got Frank earlier and it came in pretty clear it sounded like Sam just spelled supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Thanks, Sam, for making me feel even worse than I did a little bit ago. People can actually spell that word. Thanks. <laughs> am I am I special or something? And I'm the only one that's not aware of it, and no one has told me. You're very special, Donald. Oh, okay. Okay, we got scruple. 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 Of all words, we get right. scruple. Here. I don't even know what scruple means. Isn't that a dessert or something like that? <laughs> You're laughing, so it wasn't a dessert. A okay. toaster scruple. <laughs> That's a strudel. Okay, I got you. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so let me, let me ask this real quick. Let me ask, I'm going to talk to the spirit uh, uh, if someone's here with us tonight. Right. 
If there's someone in this room with us right now, can you read this word on this piece of paper and communicate it through these devices for us, please? <coughs> Heard something, but that wasn't the word that's on this piece of paper. So what, what does this word um, say? The word I gave Frank is creepy. Yeah, I wanted to stick with the paranormal. Frank gives me yellow. I mean, right. I mean, come on. I mean, when I give, at least I give you good words. This. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing yet, still. Well, I'm right. Right. Can you? Can you say the name of one of us in this room? My nephew said I'm very special too. Thanks. Right. Thanks, <laughs> nephew Logan. <laughs> for putting my over. <laughs> that was good. I appreciate that, buddy. Okay, so Brady just came up for Christmas with this one. next year. <laughs> so, um, so what you're saying is um, he's off the Christmas card list, right? Yes, he uh, he sure is. <laughs> okay. So still nothing on. We got Brave. Right. We just got Brave on the yeah. app again. Of course, uh. still no affiliation or any ties to what we're trying to do mm -hmm. right now. So let's turn this off. Because we are out of time. Um, oh my goodness, we are. But, you you know, um, something that, that we really want to stress to everyone is don't be afraid to try things like this. Um, it, you know, experiment with, you know, see how much um, you project onto the location you investigate. Uh, always take one of these with you. Record your experiences so that you can document and have your record of how the locations you investigate affect you. Um, it, it is definitely um, going both ways, you know. Um, but ultimately, we're, you know, the, the paranormal is by no means just goes to known places. It is about human consciousness and, you know, how does that human consciousness interact with the environment? How does the environment that we're in affect the human consciousness? Um, you know, there's so many variables that can yeah. affect this that, that we haven't even broke the tip of the iceberg of actually what we can actually do with these experiments and the places that we can go with them. Right. You know, Frank and I have talked about this on at nausea and, you know, at the very end, you know, I looked at Frank and I said, Frank, if we continue with this and we get the data and the responses that we think we can get, we actually might come out and say and find out that paranormal is not real at all. It's our mind the whole time, our body, our mind. This, this brain up here can do a, a lot of things that, that we're not even aware of yet. And it could be over the years, over time, that we're using more of our brain projecting this onto ourselves. Mm -hmm. So there, there's so many things out there because the truth is there are no paranormal experts out there. <laughs> and if someone says that they are a paranormal expert, run from that person. Yes. Um, that, you know, some of us, we, we have some experiences to go by. We have some things that we believe. But the fact of it is everything that I have said in the past 18 years that I've been investigating could be proven dead wrong tomorrow. Tomorrow. You're absolutely so, right. So keep an open mind when you investigate. Question everything. And, you know, don't be afraid to try um, experiments like this to see how much you affect the environment when you investigate there. Because that is something that we need to be aware of. And, and these, these are things that, you know, how does our human consciousness, how, how can I walk into a place? And, you know, you know, or anyone, how, how can they walk in and pick up data that they shouldn't know about the place? Right. How, how, how do things like that happen? How can 
I stand, you know, not knowing a person. How can two people see each other and just without any communication whatsoever be able to kind of get that gut instinct? That feeling of the minute they walk in the door. What that person's intentions are yeah. or how that person is feeling. We, we have to really look at that. And, and it's going to vary so from person to person when, when these things happen because, you know, some people are more sensitive to things that this person is not to. Cold, heat, uh, our, our sensories are even more improved than others. You know, Frank can't hear, but I can hear good. I can't see, but Frank can see good. So we kind of balance each other around. Right. So. right. I, I, I'm hearing no evil. He's seen no evil. Right, yeah. And we speak no evil. Right. So <laughs> when we're around people, right. now we're here by ourselves after we turn the cameras off, it's right. it's uh, full throttle from there. Right, right. we we'll make fun of everybody. <laughs> So I um, guess that's a good way to end the show right there. Right, we make right. fun of everybody. Right, right. <laughs> Except you. We don't Except make fun y'all. Of you. We don't make fun of you. Nothing we make fun of you. each other a lot of times. We have a lot of B-roll that is funny. Right. So, <laughs> I think it's funny. Frank's not so much. but. <laughs> so with that, we're, we're going to call it a night, but we appreciate everybody watching. Absolutely. And We've had a great time tonight showing everyone a few little... Uh, new experiments. Uh, we'll be back next week with another show, uh, and never know what we're gonna throw up here. Right. So. And and don't forget if you if there's anything that you would like to see us talk about or cover, Absolutely. let us know. Sure. Um, be sure that you you know connect us through with us through the show page or website. Casper even even on the comment section here oh. on the show, we, yeah. we'll see those after the show. I go back, I try to go through the comments. I hate that I miss some of them, but uh, I try my best to get to everybody. Uh, leave a, leave a show idea in the comments. We really enjoy people that yeah. that that will communicate with us like that. Uh, we're doing this for you guys. Yep. There would be something else I would much rather be doing on a Thursday night than sitting in a cold, dark basement with Frank. So, you know, come on, help me out here. <laughs> so, so and, and to be sure that you don't miss anything, be sure that you follow us on our um, Casper Facebook page, too. It's um, C-A-S-P-I-R Paranormal, too. Mm -hmm. Just Google it or, um, you know, it, it's super easy to find or, you know, type it into Facebook. Um, but you, you'll definitely want to follow that page and like it because it that is where we do... On this page, we only do the regular broadcast. Yeah. Over there, we do the remotes from locations and things right. like that that you don't see here. So, so be basically, sure to check that follow out. both pages. Just go, hit follow, hit follow, and then go to YouTube and hit subscribe because we post our videos on YouTube at the end of the show. So, hey, so we've with, wasted everybody's time enough, so I guess we'll let everybody go. If, uh, right. If you can actually right. hit the button this time, we can right. say goodbye. Right. Well, with that, everyone have a great night. Right. Have a great night, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We had a blast and hope to see y'all next week. It's, uh, don't Let's see. It. Here, here it is. To kick it from that, the, where, where is it? The other side. You hit it to start it. It's